The Taliban has taken over Afghanistan and is flexing its muscles for global legitimacy. Here in India, there are voices of concern that the radical group's rule in Afghanistan may affect the situation in Jammu and Kashmir, which is recovering from over three decades long insurgency. International experts and diplomats also believe that the situation in Afghanistan could potentially set off a domino effect in the Indian subcontinent, particularly in the Kashmir region. The dramatic seize of war-torn Afghanistan by Taliban has increased regional worries about radicalization, political Islam and terrorism. The turn of events has triggered fresh apprehensions amongst India's security experts of pan-Islamist groups gaining ground support in Kashmir. There are alarming hints that after Pakistan's ISI has solidified its control over Afghanistan via the Taliban, it may transfer Afghans and others to India, especially Jammu and Kashmir. Many international experts have apprehended that Taliban may fuel terror activities in the valley by sending its fighters or by training Pakistani mercenaries. Recently, Russian Ambassador Nikolay Kudashev also shared concern of terrorism and mating from Afghanistan spreading to Kashmir amid the Taliban takeover. Taliban coming and taking over the reins of government in Afghanistan is a real big problem for the entire Central Asia region because Taliban is going to make Afghanistan as the hub of terrorism which was there in Pakistan. Now Pakistan will be very happy that all this problem will now be in Afghanistan's lap and they would be now asking Taliban to use their men and material to spread terror in India and other places in the world. Set to establish an Islamic government in Afghanistan and to renew its idea of caliphate, the Taliban can reignite violent sentiments in a section of Kashmiri youth. The recent statements of the Taliban and Al-Qaeda too have signaled that there may be fresh instability. In May 2020, the Taliban stated that Kashmir was an integral matter of India. But in September 2021, a Taliban spokesman Sohil Shahin stated that as Muslims, they have the right to raise their voice for Muslims in Kashmir, India and any other country. However, Kashmir is not Afghanistan and the Indian Army is not an Afghan resistance force. Nonetheless, the Pakistan-Taliban agreement should serve as a wake-up call. The Taliban cannot be taken at face value in India. Recent happenings in Afghanistan, wherein the Taliban has formed the government over there and now is in control of Afghanistan, is a wake-up call for India. Because Taliban is basically the child which, is, which was fathered by CIA and ISI. And whatever ISI will say, they will be following. ISI has, and Pakistan have only one issue with India, and that is Kashmir, and that they have clarified time and again. It is for this reason they have fought so many wars. Then after they could not win the wars, they have resorted to raising militants over there. For decades, Pakistan has been dreaming of capturing Kashmir, yet it has never been able to do so. It is again dreaming the same, this time with the help of the Taliban. India needs to be more cautious now as the new Taliban government has a Pakistani imprint all over it and is just an old wine in a new bottle. As Taliban's recent remarks are in contrast with the group's earlier statements on Kashmir, India is expected to increase security vigil in the region.